that out again on YouTube. Right, I totally didn't record something there that was awful and then just stop and start again. That's not what I did. Okay, that's what I did, but it doesn't matter. That's irrelevant now. Whatever it was in the past, now we get on with the video. Now there's an opener. <laughs> Back into Dragon Age. I remember what was going on last time. Uh, it was uh, the end of the fade, thank God. And we were uh, back out into the uh, big bad world, and I had just solved the riddle of the mage's tower, or the crisis thereof. <clears throat> you have come to the circle of magi, seeking the help of the mages. Unfortunately, the circle is in a state of chaos. The Templars have locked the tower, and you have been sent in to investigate. You have escaped the fade, but the tower is still in dire straits. Is it the drummer in dire straits? Oh, oh yeah, that's a little dad joke for you there. Okay, who have we got here? Cullen, a Templar, anonymous Templar, the Knight Commander Grigoire. Here hmm? we are, the tower in disarray, the circle nearly annihilated. Oh, it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. Hmm. The Blight drove me here to seek aid. True. It was merely coincidence. Also true, I just happened to be wandering here at the time. And I'm glad I could help. Hmm. I'm glad I could... No, the Blight drove me here to seek aid. Yes, that would be a pain in the arse, wouldn't it? To come through one trial and tribulation, then just to be steamrolled by the next. So I have your word. But there are so few mages left. Well, well, let's get all of them then. What about the tower? I don't get to stay here. Forget the tower. The tower's a place. You have my word. As first enchanter, the circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. ka -ching. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. When we need you here, the Circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This man is brave and good, and capable of great things. If he will accept my help, I will help him accomplish his goals. We need a healer. Oh, you can come with me if you really want to. I'll be honoured to have you join me. I think you are needed here and should stay. I don't need you tagging along and nagging at me. Now that one is just outrageous. I need a healer. Everything changed when the healer joined the party. Everything changed. Let's have a little look at what we got. Um, yeah, you can come with me if you really want to. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? That's all right. I, I really want to get on and get out of this tower, to be quite honest. Uh, I understand. Till we meet again. When the time comes, we will stand beside you. That's nice, but uh, for copyright reasons, I'm going to have to ask you to shave that beard off. I'm the only one who's allowed to have that beard. Okay, so I've got an achievement. Magic Sympathizer. Boom. Great. Yes, so we can leave the tower now. Wait a minute, there was some loot twinkling over here. Give me the loot. I think I deserve it. I've just saved everybody. The Buckle of the Winds. Hmm, sounds like a belt that might induce flatulence, but it looks like it just gives you plus three defense. We'll, we'll take that and we'll uh, see if it comes in use later on. I can't be bothered to do an audit of... Wait a minute. That's better. I can't be bothered to do an audit of... Uh, you think the tower? Our equipment. Light is the least we can do. True. But the circle has always played a part. <sighs> Nobody's happy. I saved the tower. Even this little kid here, look, they're safe. That one too. Loads of safe children. Don't know what they're moaning about. Outrageous. What do you want? The moon on a stick? 
let's take these private documents, how they are relevant to any other kind of transactions as they appear to be, I will never know. But let's not bother with that. Let's get out of here. chucking corpses into the lake, that won't do any good for the water will it? It will seep into the water table and you'll all end up with crazy corpse ridden diseases. I hope this is the way out, I don't want to run back all the way through here. <sighs> Second floor, of course I'm going the wrong way, how could I ever expect to be going the right way in the first instance? That would be totally out of character for me. Let's check the map. <coughs> I am here and I want to be there, which is apparently perfectly achievable by going that way. However, I don't see... Maybe I can go through another door. No. Looks like it's the long way around. <clears throat> there still appears to be a lot of howling and screaming in the background. Oh, there's wounded. Okay. That explains it. That's okay. I can stand for wounded. That door was, um, was locked. Dum -de -dum. of the sealed doors and Bosch world map. Okay, so I've not been here for a while. <coughs> Let's take a look. Is it time perhaps to take another go at those dwarves? I know I got beaten off the road first time out, but this time I have a healer in the party and a little bit more experience under my belt, so we could give it a go. Or I could try any of these delightfully golden areas. Soldiers peak Ban Lauren's Lands or Soldier's Pass. What's that? Lothering. Hmm, been there, done that. Redcliffe Castle. I think I've been there, I'm not sure. What's this? Okay, it's just flashing this is what I'm on. Denerim. Yeah, I've been there, a bit of a disappointment. Frostback. Let's go to the Frostback Mountains. Let's look for dwarves. Oh. Is this some random encounter? Ooh. Ooh. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banor that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a, a solution with your leave. The Antiven Crows send their regards. An assassin. Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Well, it seems that the uh, usurper king is uh, trying it on. What have we got here? Some sort of little encampment, an adventurer leader. Okay, let's talk to the adventurer leader. Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw Darkspawn on the way in. Darkspawn? You don't say. Where are you going? We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? I'm here to stop you. Is this something that I've been told to do? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. 
We're off to tell the Chantry about him. I'm intrigued by this I'm here to stop you option. What? Am I? Do I have something? Is this something about here in my quest? Thanks. We're heading out. Stay safe. Quest completed. I don't know what quest. <laughs> I think we're going to have to look at our. Um, is Q going to do that? No, it's, uh, it's going to be out here, isn't it? Oh, actually, I'm sure we'll have quest uh, journal. That's usually what quests in, hasn't it? Uh, can I put them in completed quests? Here we go. Circle of the major. I'm never going to find it in here. I've got a huge list of. What? Lothering's been destroyed by the Darkspawn? Hmm, blimey. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, and the canary in the cage is dead, couldn't get him any food. Turns out I'm a bastard. Oh dear. Okay, so let's get the, let's get the figgins out of here. Here they are. Right, what have we got here? Bounty hunters. Okay. Let's rock with the bounty hunters. I'm getting in there closer. I'm just tickling my way in. Could have sworn these guys. There we go. They attacked us much earlier before, I'm sure. Okay. Logan sends his regards, does he? Well, he's gone for threaten already. That's good. Let's give him some precise striking as well. Everybody focus on this bounty hunter here. <laughs> okay. Mm, maybe we'll reconsider that and we'll kill the mage first. Okay, not my most glorious victory ever, not by a long shot, but hopefully we saved that just as we got there. There we go, good, good. So we've got to get up to these falls again, and I should probably press F5 a couple of times as we get closer, just to make sure we don't have to... Actually, what I should probably do is stealth it up a bit because then I can get up behind that mage and give him a bit of a bashing. Aha, the combat begins, but I can get straight up there and start pummeling him while everybody else holds back perhaps, gets out of the mage's range, that could be an option. Ah, Alistair, Morgan, on him too, and you we'll keep you in reserve for now. You two get one bit. Okay, am I still in stealth? Not by a long shot. We're closer to home. Fucking hell. Okay, maybe I'm still not quite high enough level to get into this area. Or maybe I'm just so tactically deficient that I can't cope. Okay. What we need is some way of getting him decoupled. Uh,
they all just follow up after him. What the hell? Everybody else, you guys can all run over here while I move up there. Get to that fucking mage unhindered. There we go. Okay, it's not going well so far probably should have monitored the party's health a little bit better <laughs> while doing this but oh well okay nothing we can do about those cooldowns spells all out of the window apparently it would seem okay, but at least I killed the mage this time there's a start yeah Perhaps the amount of success I should have expected, but uh, nonetheless. Okay. Okay, okay, so she's occupied in combat down there. We need to make sure that uh, good old Paladin boy doesn't die. And she can do a Mind Blast to stun them. Okay. That's good. So we're up to here. Scoundrel's doing okay. Maybe she could cast a spell on him. Ah, oh, shit, she's going to do chain lightning. This is going to really do scoundrel no good whatsoever. Um, <laughs> can she get another one off on him? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Paladin went down while I wasn't paying attention, so maybe that's not optimal, but... Scoundrel can go now, take this guy out. And these two between them, I'm pretty sure can deal with a couple of bounty hunters. I mean, come on. Bollocks! Okay, so a lot of weight on Scoundrel right now. He has to make some serious moves to actually have a hope in heck. Doesn't look like those moves are going to be forthcoming. No! No, those moves were locked away. Inaccessible. I'm thinking it might still be a mistake to come to this uh, Osgrimmar place. Okay, so everybody hold. Scoundrel goes up ahead. Ooh, stealth. Ooh, eating a deep mushroom. That's a quick, surefire way to... Uh, reappear from stealth okay other party following me no cool I just need to manage my heels better ooh that was unnecessarily bad <coughs> The rest of you guys charge in then. Let's get to that ma mage. That did not take long. What the? 
Hello? Okay, we have an official situation here. These two appear to be having some... Oh, no. No actual issues. Okay, cool. So, this might be doable. This is possible, this is doable. Let's see if we can just lure the one in. Oh my god, this might happen. Quick regenerate there. She can have a small lyrium potion. Oh my god, we're going to succeed with only two party members surviving. I say we're going to succeed. It is potentially possible within the realms of believability that we might come near a victory here. Oh, 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 hello there. Let's uh, not muck about. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Ooh, what have I done? Something wrong. Um, it was that close. It was that close. Okay, maybe this time. We stand back to here until they pop up. And then... Okay, Morrigan. You are going to lightning bolt that one. Well, we can't initiate combat this way. Oh, your god indeed, it is dwarf time. If I can make it past this little uh, enclave of uh, hoo haw people. Right, everybody come back. We're coming back to the gate. We're going to do this the way we did it last time. And we're going to keep it cool and clever. I say clever. I mean, not even close to clever, but whatever. They won't hear a thing. Because scoundrels going on a suicide run. That was uncalled for, unexpected. What the funky chicken? Did these guys get fireballed too? They were following me! What an idiot! I didn't put them to s stop. Oh my god. And now my whole party is on fire. Okay, party group heal. Here we go. Get in there, scoundrel. There we go. There we, go. we need more healing, we need more healing. And we need it on him now. Not in time. Well, this guy can't do anything except just a little bit of that. <sighs> this is not going well. <coughs> Pardon me. Oregon can't do frost at the moment. She can't do party heal. Let's see if Oregon up. What can Morrigan do? <sighs> can't do horror, can't do mind blast. No. You've got to heal yourself. Physician, heal thyself. Now they dish out damage too fast. That was masterful, <coughs> displaying my 
pure and untrammeled glory. Okay, so this time we'll do this. Be stealth. Party hold. I'm on my own. You can't see me, baddies. Assassin from the shadows! Oh, 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 okay, that's got a little bit out of control a little bit quickly. Is that going to take effect quick enough? Not on your life. There is no way. Okay, everybody hold back. Everybody hold back. We need to move forward just enough. Just enough that we can see one of them. Okay, they're not attacking me yet. Okay, so this guy here. Now, Alistair, you close on him. Morrigan. Oh, crackers. You come back out of range. Now, everybody, calm down and relax. Morrigan, we're attacking him. Lightning blast. Lovely. Maybe a life drain just to top off your own health bar. You carry on with what you're doing. Maybe put a heroic aura on uh, Alistair. And Alistair. Begin the senseless pummeling. Sorry, continue the senseless pummeling. Okay, one down. We'll loot him later when time allows. Now you attack him. A pair of you. Send your little arcane energies over to him. Ah, now Alistair, step in. Deal with this hoodlum. Alistair? Taking the aggro. <coughs> Everybody attack. There we go. Two down. Only a few to go. I'm pretty sure the mage survived this time, but okay. So Morrigan. You've got to come forward just that little teeny weeny bit. Fire on him. Come back here a bit. And you attack him. Morrigan. No, Morrigan, sorry. Uh, Win, you attack. And then... We must allow... Alistair to pounce! Pounce, Alistair, pounce! Oof! That was a saucy little slap. <gasps> moment of panic! Moment of panic! Jack. Figgins, this guy's a powerful puncher. Uh, no, hang on a minute. We're not. Let's party heal. Okay, I'm kind of wishing we had a... Oh, we do have a... That's... That's great. I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay. And you as well, you have some lyrium. And there we go, let's top everybody up. Okay, everybody inch forward. Scared to go too far forward. There we go. Who to go for first? The mage has got fireballs that are going to do cracker lacking damage from a distance. Might as well get him fully all that uh, topped up. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so we're good. No, no, combat mage first, dummy. Archer, eh? 
Well, we can play this one at range. We've got all the healing we need. Actually, and I've got two mages who can do this distance. Uh-uh! No, 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 no! Oh no, we've lost control of the party. We're now actually receiving magical damage. <coughs> we've lost her. <sighs> okay, I'm not sure what happened there, but if everyone gets in, Ballister survives. Let's see what's happening up here. Right, you take out that magic user first. Everybody attack the mage! Everybody attack him! 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 Okay, we're all good, we're all good, we're all good! Ah, oh, now that is magic. Close on Scoundrel and he slept like a baby through the whole thing. Ooh, glory. Okay, so that, that wasn't looking like it was going to happen, but it happened. We got there in the end. Let's level up our healer. Um, 21 and 22. Full power and magic. Let's do it. There we go. Um, yes, please. That one. Okay. Uh, let's finish the looting. Of course. Fire bolts. There's been a few bits and bobs worth looting, I suppose. <laughs> Nothing too exciting or extravagant. No, mostly just cash and poultices. Poultices. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to get into the dwarf realms for the first time ever. I'm assuming it's up there. Let's just have a quick scooch round here. See what's what. See what the haps be. Oh, it's just a little bridge. I thought <laughs> it was the main entrance. Of so much rock over one's head is disquieting. I suppose so. Just try not to think about it. Surface dwarf. May the ancestors protect us all. I paid a ransom for a trade permit. They can't do this. Do what? A shady thug. Torn us the destroyer. He looks like someone just begging to get his head kicked in. You have some kind of problem. I'm here on behalf of the Blackstone Irregulars. What is this about? I hear you stole supplies from the guild. Oh, I see. Tauren must have sent you. I refuse to answer to a pawn of Tauren. Come, men, to arms! If that's the way it must be, then let it be paused. Um, we'll start by focusing on you. We'll see how hard this one is. Whoa there, whoa there, whoa there, things are getting a little bit hairy already. Whoa, 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 whoa! Um, I think only a party heal is available to me here. There we go, and another one. Okay, that's Tornas down, and he appears to only have one shady thug accomplice left helping him. Um, That's it, batter the shady thug. Oh, and his chum, he's got another one. Let's get over there. Everybody, everybody over there. There we go. Oh, a decapitation no less. How very exciting. Spirit shard, frost shear, and guild supplies. Nice. Crushing a spirit shard gives the user a small bonus to spirit resistance for a small amount of time. 
Ah, consumable items. How am I supposed to live with no crafts to sell? I'll be ruined. If they wait too long, trade won't come back. That's the way this works. Can I interest you in something? I've got the finest selection of previously owned armor and weaponry this side of Val Royal. Hmm, previously owned? Why pay through the nose <clears throat> for new equipment when you can buy like new for much, much less? That makes sense. Uh, let me take a look. Of course. And remember, everything's covered by Farin's 24-hour lifetime guarantee. Oh, yeah, a guarantee that lasts for 24 hours, I see. Right, what have we got? Let's have a look at his armour then. <clears throat> Chevalier's gloves, Canary infantry helm, <coughs> Knight Commander's plate. I don't think anybody can actually wear this uh, compared to Alistair. Can you wear anything? Nope. Not really. Oh, I got bored of his inventory pretty quickly. Uh, let's go and look over in this tent. I actually spoke to this guy over here. Greetings, my lord. Greetings, my lord. All right, whatever. <clears throat> I didn't get into this business to sit on my goods. What business? Uh, if you sit on your goods, I can imagine your only business must be so tell me, ass. Was the tower of Magi everything you thought it would be? Abominations running rampant. Templars ready to slaughter every mage in sight. Yes, it rather met all my expectations. You don't think you might have been better off getting your training there, instead of whatever your mother taught you? You're right. My mother didn't nearly have as many abominations running about. That certainly would have improved my education. Hmm. I'll give you that one. I'm so relieved. What's Staric the Apprentice you? got to say? Uh, I have a note here from your master, apparently. This ought to be interesting. Such diction. This man is a true scholar and rhetorician. I am honored to be fired by one such as he. Good day. Oh, well, that was a interesting little outcome. <laughs> Whatever happened there? Great. Aaron, let's have a look. You wish to talk to me? Truly, it's a courtesy of one so well armed to notice a local merchant. You live on the surface? Someone has to. Trade with other races can dry up. We surfacers are Orzammar's lifeline. Even if we're denied a cast, the assembly says we've turned our back on the stone. But they still use the goods we bring. Hypocrites. Maybe it'll change by the time my children are grown. How often do you restock in Orzammar? Twice a year. I'm confined to a trade store in the commons, but I see enough. It's very closed in. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. Never Best mind. Of luck to you. Whatever stone sense is, I'm sure that's something you get when you play as a dwarf. The assembly is deadlocked. No one knows when they'll reopen the city. They've lost all sense. Orzammar will stall. Well, let's see if I can get in. <clears throat> let's find out what happens. King Logain will not suffer. Beata. This land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the king's wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Well, that's interesting. He could have sent a slightly more pleasant ambassador, an emissary. Why would you send this prick? I mean, he's just been rude. <laughs> I have an urgent need to talk to your king. Why have your people retreated like this? I have important business in Orzammar. Who doesn't? If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no king. Indrin Iduken returned to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. 
The Assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. <gasps> oh my goodness. I am a Grey Warden. This treaty obliges Orzammar to aid me. A blight is coming. They must unite for Ferelden. The Grey Wardens need their traditional warden and dwarven allies. Hmm. Let's try the first one. Wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. Ching. You're letting in a traitor and a foreigner. In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. Let's try intimidating, shall we? Uh, that's enough. Raise your blade if you're so tough. Loghain is the traitor who killed King Kalein and Ostagar. Or I can intimidate him. I don't know if I've got all the intimidate chops I need. I think we'll go with the... What? Lies and slander! King Loghain will not suffer this. I will not suffer it. I'm his messenger. Kill each other as you will. But take your sodding fight off my doorstep. Doesn't sound right in a direct accent. Take your sodding fight off of my doorstep. <clears throat> okay, so we've got to fight this guy now, have we? What a prick! What a massive prick! Why is he getting so wound up? Right, Imrek, bodyguard, bodyguard. Right, Imrek looks like he might have some magic. No, Imrek doesn't have magical chops, it's his bodyguard. Right, I'm sure we've got to save. Giddy goosebumps. He really goes down, doesn't he? Let's see, everybody keep focusing on him. Oh, he's gone down again. Oof. Ah, crap in a box and boil it. Oh, hang on a minute. Ah, oh, Zutalo, mon dieu, mon ami. Uh, in there. Focus on in there. Ooh, get the healer out of there. Ah, tits. annoying not as annoying as being all the way back here though oh my god what have I done okay next time I'm gonna go for the intimidate option may as well try and avoid combat to Orzammar, <coughs> or rather return to Orzammar. Most traders aren't allowed into Orzammar, so they just sort of gathered and the lake and my brother and his family made it out. King Loghain will not Here we go. This land is held in King Loghain. I don't care if you're the king's wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Who doesn't? Orz the assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a order. Well, you're letting it in the name of King Loghain. All right, here we go. Let's try the intimidate option. You'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. Quartered. I'm you sure he will. You went to Orzammar, Grey Wolf. Though I don't know what help you will find. I don't know what help you will find. A trust follow, Warden. Your arrival is a mixed blessing. We prefer that outsiders not witness our infighting, but your presence will be tolerated. Okay. How magnificent. These must be the statues of the Dwarven Paragons. Must they? Oh, these statues in the background. Okay, yes, I imagine they are. Paragon Bemot. Ooh, there's XP in these. Oh, uh, I can't get up there. There's a small step. 
It's impossible to gain access to those back statues. Let's try this one over here then. Interesting. I trust Vala, Warden. And so I shall. Okay, I think I've looked at all of them. The Tower of Magi, everything you thought it would be. Abominations running rampant. Here we go. Poisons can be applied to weapons for a variety of effects. Poison can be bought from merchants or mixed by a skilled poisoner using substances like death root extract and demonic icor. Mm, delightful. Everyone loves a bit of demonic icor. <clears throat> Assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Haromon was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. Not speak that way about the man who should be king! Oh, blimey. All is not good in Tiny Town. <clears throat> okay, and let's level up our mage here. I forgot to do that earlier. Okay, we're in. Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Okay. Um, the blight is coming, and I need all Zamar's assistance. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the diamond quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Aromont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Paragons? Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperet, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Okay, I'll go there. Um, can a city function See, like that's this? That's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The mark is thin. But busy, and the tavern never closes. Bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Haramont in there. Sort this all out in a hurry. The proving? Personal battles for honor and ancestor. I don't expect a surfacer to understand. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperet, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Okay. Sounds like Balin and Haramont are the ones to talk to. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Bartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Haramont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. I should get going. Yes, you should. Actually, it seems pretty much the same size as every other place we visited, but, you know, I'll do that for now. The Janar Armourers. <clears throat> Welcome to Janar Family Armourers. I must say, you look like our type of people. What Looking dwarves? Looking set of mail. At Janars, we have everything from leather to platinum. Ooh, let's see what you've got. Of course. Keep in mind, we also take items on trade. Intriguing. So let's have a look at the armors. What have we got here? Oh, it's expensive stuff. Quite a bit richer than my blood. Dwarven massive armor. 
So we'd have Trier 6 requires 38 strength. Let's see. I don't think Alistair's anywhere near that yet. Nope, apparently not. Rock Knocker. Hmm. Okay, what else have we got? Nothing in particular. Okay, I am not particularly interested in your wares, so I should. Who's this? What's this over here? If that's a depiction of life in Orzammar, this place seems pretty grim. Oh, that felt bad. What happened there? Quest! Go look for him. That's straight to the point. That will get me the quest. Then he's almost certainly dead. That's an interesting one. Let's ask about the deep roads. The deep roads are where darkspawn come from. They descend for miles into the earth, and we must patrol them constantly or be overrun. I lost my husband to them. If I lost my son the same way. Hmm. We shouldn't abandon him. I'll look for him if you want. Hmm. Did anyone go after him? What would you give for his safe return? That's so mercenary. No. There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. You got it. I'm a Grey Warden. That's what we do. I didn't say I'd do it for free. So you could do it. Only Wardens face the deep roads without a company backing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good widow Filda. We'll do our best. Please, find me as soon as you return. That's right. I'm going down the deep road. No getting around it. I'm a deep road explorer. Okay. Next building. Tapster's Tavern. Okay, before we brave the tavern, let's uh, see what we've got out here. Topsiders? Good. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Valen stands for. Hmm. Your allegiance to this Balin is clear. Why? Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. I see. Uh, some say Balin killed his father. Just as many say Harrowmont. Neither are paragons. And the scales being equal, I go with the promise of more trade. You approve of this chaos? I know without spreading some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. Hmm. A blight is, Oz is coming. Orzammar can't be divided. Orzammar will decide what we can or can't be. Blight may be imminent on the surface, but our warriors are well seasoned against dark spawn. There will be topsiders left for trade. There's no end to you. Let's see what you have in your store. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. <laughs> nice way to put it. <clears throat> Tome of the Mortal Vassal. Fear of blood magic has stigmatized academic dissection, but dedicated scribes keep anatomical works from disappearing. This book allows training that modestly increases the reader's base attributes. One or more points to spend on attributes, but it's rendered useless after it's about 15 gold. I can see why. Uh, what have we got here? We've got some loot to dish out, haven't we? Um, oh, this armor's a bit crappy. 
<coughs> pardon me. Right, what are we not using? Not using fire and ice bolts. Haven't used my bow for ages. No one's using them all. Let's have a look at armor. I think we'll keep the blood dragon plate for now. And that was looted from the home. We'll keep that. Oh. <laughs> That'll do there for now. What have we got here? I don't have any of those. Probably not going to use a shock bomb. going on here. <coughs> <coughs> okay, these are all gifts. Uh, cool, okay, we have 10 gold. Let's see what we've got here. Anything exciting? Golden symbol of Andraste, remarkable sapphire, shock bomb, Ali King's flagon, a monument to the pot valiant. In appropriately, ham appropriately hammered gold. Lack of lid allows for a quick pour and, more importantly, refill. Never a stale brew when you facilitate swift consumption. Hmm. Okay, I'm not quite sure what uh, these gifts are all about. I know they're for giving to party members, but uh, we'll leave those for now. Brother Burkle. Maker's blessing on you, brother. He's a handsome chap, isn't he? <coughs> I didn't think dwarves believed in the Maker. May his divine spirit always light your way. Not very religious, sorry. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry. Return to my ancestors' lands who spread the chant of light. Even in the very bowels of the earth, we hear no end of this chant. And that is something to rejoice in, good sister. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzimpar. Whose permission do you need to open a chantry? Don't dwarves worship their ancestors or something? Well, good luck with that. Let me know how it turns out, or I will not help spread your lies. There is resistance. It's obvious the world wasn't created by the mortal souls who dwelt within it. Yet the dwarves of Orzammar persist in worshipping their own forefathers. The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to Ah, okay. Well, I'll hand those out next time I see them in camp. Do you want me to talk to him? Uh, the Shaper of Memories. The Shaper of Memories controls the Shaper in Orzammar's record system. Like the Chantry's historians, but, but more thorough. They track the births and lineage of every dwarf born in the city. Every property sale, death in battle, marriage, or divorce. Oh, Alright, maybe when I get out of here I'll have a little uh, look and see who likes what. I, think, I imagine that uh, Alistair will be quite happy with booze. <clears throat> the Shaperette is in the prime tier of the city, near the royal estate. Does this mean you're, you will help me then? Sure. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. Please let me know as soon as you've heard anything. Sure. Sure, whatever. I wasn't really paying much attention to what you were saying, but okay, I agree. XP, please. Wait a minute. As you desire. I'll keep my eyes open for these things. Gather your party and venture forth. Uh, no, we've got to go to the uh, tavern still. We haven't been in there yet. In we go. <clears throat> Lots of stalactites on the ceiling. Oh, someone killed him. Barmy, clean that up. What a charming young man. Afternoon, stranger. Looking for a stool to share a brew? Sure, why not? I recommend the Lycan Ale. They brew it downstairs. Name's Naveen. 
the fight with Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Yourself? I'm Scoundrel. A Grey Warden. Figured as much. Good folks, Wardens. I was in the deep roads when that one came by. What was his name? Dukan, Duncan, uh, something like that. You knew Duncan. Thanks for the drink, but I should go. You work for Balin. Who's your unit fighting? I've never been in the deep roads. I met him, sure. Good man. Solid. He knows what we go through in the deep roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. Sounds very Vietnam. Dark spawn. Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. Which is where? Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow. We're not the only ones. Hmm, interesting. Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tides. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be whoever looks after him. Lord Harrowmont's got his own men there, all looking for signs of Bronca. Guess the city's getting to miss having a paragon. Everyone wants someone to put in charge. Hmm. What are you looking for? Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tigers. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be whoever was after him. Who's Bronca? Bronca was <clears throat> a paragon, some kind of great smith or whatnot. But she went batty and let her whole house into the deep roads more than two years ago. No chance she could have survived. A lot of good men are going to die looking for her corpse. Excuse me. This brew is starting to taste awful bitter. In waters and barbaros, we in the barca will not And in the rich of Sarazovat, then we may go on. A song called Arno Brook and Tremolandova. Our hunter Capora. <laughs> they have a very uh, drunken language. This, my friend, is an item. Bottles all around. Aren't you all a little bit small to be drinking pints? Surely you should measure yourselves. What are you talking about? They follow you. Once you are in the story, they possess your friends and follow. See? I found copies. All from the same pen and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out. I won't disappear chasing a lie. I won't. Okay. Fine. Whatever. I'm going to go and do some karaoke in a minute with these... Uh, Assembly and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? Uh, yes. <laughs> you know me, word travels fast. A controversial opinion for a dwarf in the Assembly. Things are hardly equal on the surface. I'm not looking for introductions or a debate. Goodbye. Uh, a controversial opinion, I think. Very good. I guess someone already told you I was good for nothing, drinking my life away at Tapsters. Or did they leave off a greatest shame to ever fall upon the assembly? I'm always like that. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashers if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. 
Orzammar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. Hmm, so you get to vote on the next king. <clears throat> How does the case system work anyway? Oh, that's handy. I'd like to know that. Badly. <laughs> oh, you're serious? Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and the criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. Hmm. Me and 79 other fine upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. Hmm. I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that. And subtle as sin. I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Hmm. Interesting analysis of the political situation, which I probably should have tried to absorb more thoroughly, but never mind. We'll see what happens. Here we go. He stopped singing. Sing, dwarf, sing! Greetings to you. What do you wish of me? Get out of the way. I want to hear your strange drunken language again, dwarves. Come on, sing for me. It was beautiful. Okay, I'll get off this table. I've got to go and find the barkeeper. We've a bit of stew on the fire. Well, that's nice to know. I'll trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. I'm Cora, your hostess. And how may I serve you? Like a drink. With 52 types of ale, 17 types of mead, and a dozen imported wines, we should be able to serve your needs. What do you have? Uh, some. A round of your best food for myself and the house. Well, that sounds expensive, and I don't have a lot of money. I have some ale. I recommend a Brakian brew. She has a heavy head and a deep, rich taste. Three silvers gives you a pint. Sold. A Brakian brew never fails to hit the spot. I hear you spoke to Lord Harrimont. He's a good man. Puts Orzammar's needs above his own. Well, I have other customers to see too. If you need anything else, just call me over. Okay, so we're good, we're good, we're good. We're in there, I've got a waitress, a uh, personal waitress, isn't that lovely? There doesn't actually seem to be a patron owner, so whatever. Not a lot in here, considering. I thought it was going to be a little bit more... Uh, He's singing again? Of course he's not singing. When I'm ready to come over and join in a drunkenly ribald rendition of whatever it is he's singing, he's gone. He's out of there. Okay, so we're back out of here. We want to go down to this area, whatever it was. Dust Town. <clears throat> the bravery talent greatly increases a warrior's combat prowess when surrounded by more than two enemies. Why do the poor not rise up against their betters? This I never understood. Who knows? Okie dokie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, she's healing automatically, that's good. Brilliant, I let the paladin go down. Why did I do that? It's alright though, it's alright. Do that. Boom, alive. Down he goes again. Uh, still can't do that. It's got a 120 second cooldown. Crikey! However, 
we can do that. Oh, not in time though. Oh, dearie me. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Oof, that is not good. Sneaky chump. Up yours, you sneaky little gits. Okay, so. The uh, differences between this side of town and the others is striking. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're in here. We're all saved up. Uh, let's perhaps use a couple of the uh, kits. Inventory. Uh, he needs to use a lesser injury kit. Uh, she needs to use two. Is that everybody? Oops, she still needs to use one. Still has to wait. There we go. Good, nobody is wounded anymore. Let's save that as our state to start along from. And actually, if we all hold back, let's try using this. Oh, no. Try using the same tactic I used last time. Attack this guy. So what have we got here? We've got Alistair being beaten by Dust Town thugs. Morrigan, mm-hmm, capable of attacking those. Let's all focus on this guy here, seeing as he's closest. And you can send him one of your big rock things. Okay, that kind of backfired. Oh, crikey, that was no good. What's happening here? Everything's going fine. Good, good, good. Oh, 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 now is the time. What happened to Alistair? Oh, he's over there. Damn, damn. Are looking fairly hairy. Damn. Okay. 
not much better than last time to be honest but it was the same issue everybody followed scoundrel in when he was supposed to go in on his own so everybody stop scoundrel gets to do that Oof, oof, hold on a minute. Alistair needs a little bit of help. Um, does need a lot of healing, doesn't he, this guy? Okay, what can she do to aid things? Well, she can get her frost weapon thing back, and she can also use the excellently cool mind blast. I think we're getting better results this time. Marginally better results. Okay, we're good, we're good. Those guys are down. Now it's just the guys with the bows to take out. I'm thinking we should have actually controlled the situation. That'd be nice. It's only this guy left. Oh, look at that. And he's down. Pummeling dished out. Lootable? Anyone lootable? He's lootable. Of course. Quick save, and in we go. Hoorah. Rogex and Rogex thugs. Persuade, I'm scoundrel, a grey warden. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Mm, I have connections above ground. I mean, they're all negative and people hate me, but... Whatever, let's give it a go. Oh, I'd have to hear what you're asking. Uh, no offence, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyria, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. 
The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man, named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of his stones, Wade. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead, at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, Sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And uh, if you bring back this return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do it. More so for someone like you, I guess. Most dwarves born down here have a natural immunity. Other races, there are problems if they spend too long with the ore. The real issue is that Lyrium is valuable. It's only found down here, and human mages can't work without it. I don't have that kind of money. As long as you keep your eyes down and your mouth shut, we've got no further business. Okay, that's fine. I would have done it if I had the money. <laughs> I'm totally not a grass either. I know what's what. I'm from the mean streets. Alamar's Emporium. Let's see what they've got to sell here. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see your wares. This doesn't look like a store. Of course. So what does Alamar sell? Freezing coating recipe? He looks like he's some kind of alchemist. Oh, and weapons. A remarkable amethyst and a bard's manual. Hmm. Okay, I'm not really seeing much in the way of his uh, store that I'm being excited by. Certainly nothing that has excited me to purchase. In ah, sinister elements. Hello. <coughs> Please excuse this coffin off. Let me see, where was I? Um, down here looks like the way on. Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? Yes, I did. My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm going to fall into the sky. No, that doesn't happen. Yeah. My dot left. He never came back. Just to say he didn't fall up, eh? I have to go now. Don't fall into the sky when you go back up there. Yes. I think you've misunderstood how it works. I mean, you're not walking on the ceiling, are you? I, I don't know. His logic is easily destroyable, but why incite dis dislike? Why not just let him go on in his ignorant stupidity? Well, look at that. It's not often Odna does to seize a fine dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help the poor cripple. You just stood up. <laughs> what about a generous kick in the face if you ask again? Let me skip some well, stuff. Thank you truly, my lord. That's right good of you. It takes a stranger to notice how bad things are, huh? No dwarf would lift a sodding finger. Excuse my language. What takes you out of the diamond quarter, stranger? What? How did you get crippled? I'd say it was an accident try to get some sympathy coin, but you look like you'd rather hear the truth. I was running protection for the Carta when some guardsmen caught me. The duster I was with had coin for a bribe, but I took a stand. The guardsmen broke my sodding kneecaps and had me kneel and dung until the infection set in. Never healed proper. Well, that's um, pretty rough. I don't know where you're from, but in Orzammar, castless have no lineage, so it's no crime to hurt you. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar, and you'll live your life in Dust Town. <laughs> Means you don't exist. It tells everyone who sees you not to work with you, not to serve you, and not to care if you're hurt. The Deep Lords burn it into us the day we're born, so no one accidentally oversteps her place. Sounds wank. <laughs> it 
If you have that kind of coin, Sal Roca, you don't want to drink what they've got here. Take yourself up the tapsters. Long as your face isn't branded, they've got anything you want. Can I get a cool face brand? Stay out of your way, then. I've got the plot hammer in my hand, and I don't think anyone can resist. Give everybody five silvers, why not? Thank you. That a stranger would care so much when my own family barred me from their halls unless I'm willing to. But no, I can't bear to even think of it. What? What do they want you to do? My son's father is castless, as is he. I used to be a miner, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. That's really terrible. That really is. Dwarfen society is pretty shitty. If you're a miner, why would your son be castless? Uh, isn't there any other solution? That's horrible. Maybe I could reason with your you family. But why? Uh, because it gives me XP. Don't look a gift warden in the mouth. I don't like to see a child suffer. Orzammar must change with the times. I was hoping you'd offer me a reason. <laughs> that one seems a little bit a little bit off let's uh, just tell her I don't want to see children suffer and I cannot offer enough gratitude but I warn you my father is a stiff necked man his name is Ordell and he's usually at tapsters in the evening I do not think he will listen to you but I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise that's alright if your family don't listen to me I'll just mercilessly slaughter them all. That'll serve them right. Oh, hello. Intriguing. Special door. Where are we, oh, no. Where are we going? Down here? More stuff down here? Is that a door I can use? Slums house. There's a lot of going on in the background. Oh look. Poor people have loot too. That'll be cool. Sell them in a uh, shop. So oh yeah, I I've got crap lock picking skills. Ah well. <laughs> okay. I appear to have exhausted the possibilities of uh, Orzammar. Or at least the Dust Town part. I've been in Alamars. Well, let's head back to the pub and try and talk this guy into some uh, sensible activity. Into tapsters. Let's see what happens when we confront this guy with the idea of keeping his uh, son or grandson. Where is he? Nevin? Cora? Tapsters patron? Oh, actually, there's someone with a quest marker over his head. There we go. What are you looking at, stranger? I met your daughter. Are you Ordell? What kind of monster throws his child out on the street? Nothing, just here for a drink. I have no daughter. Could be you met a castless whore claiming she was once mine. Let's do a bit of persuading. If you don't take her back, she'll die. You think she'd die just to keep that thing? She knows what she has to do to come home. I never wanted her gone. Just the little cur. Can't she see she'd have a better life if she got rid of it? He's a baby, not a cur, and she loves him. Could you pretend your child never existed? 
Women are crazy like that. But what can you do? <laughs> you have to take them both. He's a baby. Look, just tell her. We never meant to hurt her. It just seemed best that. Just tell her to come home. Her mother and I are waiting for her. Oh, yeah. Feel the XP just flowing my way. <clears throat> okay, back to the dust town. An elven alienage is a city. <sighs> Right, where's she gone? Is that you over there? Zerlinder. You're back. I thought you weren't coming. What did he say? Your father wants you both to come home. Both of us? I don't believe he said that. I've never heard him refer to my son as anything but trash. He calls him it. But maybe. Maybe mother convinced him. You did. Oh, my friend, I cannot thank you enough. If this were a story, my son would grow to manhood and pledge himself as a knight in your service. When he grows up, I will send him to you. I promise. Unwilling to abandon him on the dark road, but quite willing to just give him to me for fuck knows what kind of violent ends. Madness. Okay, we appear to have exhausted this area. Um, let's head back up to the main commons and see if we can find our way into this fabled diamond quarter. Keeping a rogue in your party will let you pick the locks on doors and chests that otherwise won't open. Okay, where were we? I presume the diamond quarter must be this way. Proving. Okay, that, actually, I, from what I've heard, that sounds a little bit special. Hall of Heroes. Mm -hmm. Heroes! Figor's Imports. Okay, can't unlock. Lots of food. Uh, excuse me, I, um, do you have a moment? I do. You look like you're not from around here. I'm not. How can you tell? Could it be because I'm a good twice as tall as everybody here? Oh, wonderful. I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? The Circle of Magi. My companion here is a senior enchanter of the Circle. Oh, my lady, it's an honor. I've never met an actual mage. Is it true you can manipulate nature's forces with your mind? Like you were born with lyrium in your veins? Don't let the glamour fool you, child. Wielding magic is a dangerous occupation and a great responsibility. We'd be happy to answer any questions. I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. Why wouldn't they? No dwarf has ever studied at the Circle of Magi. I guess you never read First Enchanter Capelin's treatise concerning dwarfs and the non-heritability of magic. He tested dwarfs from 20 bloodlines and found they couldn't perform any level of spell casting, regardless of lyrium exposure or time on the surface. The Circle speculates that lyrium in the stone shields us from spiritual influences and over time made us immune to them. Oh, hello. We've got somebody who's a bit into their subject matter here. Uh, so what do you want with the Circle? I want to go to the Circle to study. I assure you that desire will depart the moment you arrive. I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. It would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface. And the circle gains direct access to our knowledge of lyrium smithing. I can bring the circle your request. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperium's Verticum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. 
I only said I'd deliver the message. I didn't say that I'd get you in. Oh well. Greetings and welcome to Garen Garenson's luxury goods shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? Uh, have a look at my shop, I hope. Are you all right? Oh, I, I, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Most people don't anymore. Or well, maybe they're too polite to mention it. I had a little incident a few years back. Uh, too much time with the raw lyrium ore, you know. <laughs> maybe it was a bad thing. I, uh, I cut myself and the dust got straight in the blood. Since then, it's been a little hard for me to concentrate. Except when forging, then I'm straight as an arrow. Best work I've ever seen. Look around the shop. See for yourself. Thanks. I will. I don't understand. What happened to you? Well, it's valerium, you know. Raw blood of the earth. It's more alive than you and me. M -m -m Most of the time, it's no problem. When it's all bundled up in a piece of steel, it will leave you alone. But handling the ore directly, so sometimes you get burned. It's not just your skin it takes off. It'll burn directly into your mind. It is quite Knights of the Old Republic -y. I uh that's probably in its favour as well. I do like these little conversations. In fact I could probably stomach this game condensed to remove all of the combat. Just lots of these little interactions, but they are yet to create a game like that. Uh right. Hi, of course we are. Weak surfaces like you touch the raw or and you'll bleed from your eyeballs in hours. Weird seeing how big you are. Even surface dwarves lose it. Us down here, though, we should be able to handle it just fine. Only not too much, not every day, and not breathing the dust and not directing the blood. Ancestors own bad luck. This is, yeah, Mass Effect and uh, Knights of the Republic. They all have that very similar sort of uh, story element where all of the, the characters have this staged conversations you can go through but they're always they usually I mean this is presented better than Mass Effect I mean when you look at the characters here I'm presented with a nice angle I've got myself in the foreground out of focus a good you know upper body shot of the dwarf it's good it's com composed nicely but Mass Effect you sometimes get some absolutely ridiculous fucking crazy shit some of the camera angles in that were just janky uh, let's see where it's best in the trade, you know. I've worked the dorm myself. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Lots of expensive stuff. No, nothing catches my eye immediately. Let's not spend hours browsing through stores. Let's get cracking with the plot. What we got here? The Diamond Quarter. Here we go. See where all the, uh, the knobs are. The Orlesians conquered Hereldron in 824. Blessed beginning a long and brutal rule that ended the... Blah, 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 blah. view. You have come at a difficult time. Orzammar is ailing for want of a king. Is it really the king that it needs? Or could you use some other more sensible form of government? Monarchy seems so backwards. Regarding Lord Valen's impending marriage to a castless commoner. Favoritism to the castless suspected. Nothing I say is provably false. Nothing I say is provably false. Interesting. Harrowmont's estate. Let's go have a look in here, see what's going on. This is one of the contending families for King. rejected him in the end. Paramount is the rightful king, and you know that. Welcome to Lord Haramont's estate. Hmm. These are the personal apartments of High General Lord Haramont. No visitors are allowed at this time. Yeah. Interesting. We are honored by your trust. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. 
I am Doolin Forender, second to Lord Harrowmont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. It is a shame. I have a treaty obliging Orzammar to aid against a blight. I would speak with Lord Harrowmont. I'm busy right now, we can talk later. That may be, and that is a terrible risk for the surface. But even if the world would end tomorrow, Lord Harrowmont cannot ignore Balin today. He cannot afford to trust anyone of unproven loyalties. Hmm. Stop playing games. This treaty compels you to help. How can I prove I'm not working for Balin? That's a generous offer. If you mean it, you might attend the proving today. The Deshers take it very seriously. And unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harrowmont's best fighters into stepping down. Do you want me to find out why your fighters dropped out? That would be enlightening. Though I hope you won't pry too deeply into things they don't wish revealed. If you wish to show your loyalty, enter the proving as his lordship's champion. With your order's reputation, I have no doubt the ancestors would favor your arm. Balin would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Paramount would have no fear of meeting with you then. Interesting. I don't want to start picking sides yet. I'm afraid your only choice is to wait until there's a winner. Lord Harrowmont cannot risk his life working with someone of unproven loyalties. If you change your mind, let me know. The proving is this afternoon, and Lord Harrowmont could certainly use you on his side. Okay, okay, let's go talk to the other guy. I've got to figure out who's the one to pick. I've got to favour a horse in this race. Maybe I'll be able to talk him out of it. Maybe I'll just get them all to work together. Who knows? Oh, hello. This has dragged on too long. It's an insult to King Endrin's memory. Okay. None of these doors seem to open. News of the hour. Support Lord Harrowmont at your own peril. Darkspawn will overrun Orzammar within the year if he becomes king. Experts say. Ooh, experts say. Sorry, can't talk. Cryer's work is never done. So, how is it the dwarves have a king? Ferelden has existed as a nation since the fabled King Kalanhad, the Silver Knight, united the warring Alamari Tyrans, Tairns almost 400 years ago. What exciting, a 400 year old kingdom. I wonder if I can just seize the crown. That sounded like some kind of heavy duty machinery there. Tunneling thieves just straight into there. Okay, whatever. Oh, going on here? Both my guys are on the floor. Let's get this thing. Okay. Now I've entered this one tactically unprepared and uh, as a result I am totally muffing it up. What's going on here? Oh, 
Okay, right now, okay, we're back on form now, we're back on form. Everybody attack this top one, thief. And then that one. Okay, this is now working in our favour. I don't know if robbing a, a vault is that strange a thing. Well. Hmm. It kind of makes sense. I see. If you haven't got any money and there's a large vault full of money, thanks again, Warden. You're welcome. Do I get to see anything exciting in here, or is this uh, a private show? Arrow love letter a note between wealthy paramours. Okay, that could be useful. All right. Novice hail room. This is a remarkably poorly secured vault, I must say. I mean, the only reason anyone got caught for robbing it is because I caught them in the process of robbing it. B minus. No, C minus. No, F! Must try harder. Oh, we've come back all the way around, have we? You won't regret helping our prince, Warden. Greetings. The Royal Estates. The prince values your support. No one enters the prince's estate without an invitation. Okay. Greetings. 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 Good lord. I've nearly been playing for two hours. The stream's going to come to an end soon. Uh, let me see if I can just find the. Uh... Lord Haramont is a uh, weak man, and he will be a weak king. Yes. Okay. Chamber of the Assembly. Okay. Now I'm looking for the estates of that Balen guy. Let me hear his side of the story. Shaper it. Oh, that's where the the learny stuff is. I could learn lots of dwarf lore here. Let's do it. Here you are. Quests galore. Thief! Who would dare take from the memories? Gordon, I'm outraged. A thief and a shaper. What have we been reduced to? Is that Jake the dog? Did you get a good look at him? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Okay, fair enough. We'll have a look for him. Perhaps you should stand over there instead. Ooh, get you. Are you with that warrior girl who's always here? Um, no. Oh, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. Hmm, what kind of research? I was looking for something about the Ortan Taig. It was lost during the last flight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Ortan, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Ortan, was training in Orzammar when the Taig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. Hmm. Sorry? Oh, not much longer. I'm just going to do a couple more conversations in here and then I'm going to finish up. I'll do a hot drink after if you want. Do a hot drink after. There you go, YouTube. That's uh, one for the ages. A conversation 
caught forever. Uh, right, let's have a look. Uh, I'm a Grey Warden. I'm not afraid of the deep roads. Mother always said that if anyone could find the tide, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the tide in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could, maybe now that you're looking, it's almost too much to hope. That's all right. I'll look. I would plait my bead for the uh, bead, my beard for the dwarven sections of the game, but unfortunately I trimmed it the other day, so uh, it's nowhere near long enough. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You'll have to bother someone else with your questions. They're really happy-go-lucky people around here, aren't they? Did you say something? Oh yeah, I'll get my hair braided. That's what we'll do. Next time I'll dress up as a dwarf. <laughs> I'll just wear tiny clothes. <laughs> All right. Insufficient skill, of course. Alright, let's talk to this guy with the massive great quest marker hanging over his head and then we'll call that the end of the stream. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. When I last walked this hall. Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the shaper of memories. Hmm. How do you know who I am? The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. Hmm. Uh, let's talk about Orzammar, Lord Shaper. Ask. And I shall do my best to answer. What's the difference between an ancestor and a paragon? All dwarves who die return to the stone as ancestors, to guide their families forever. But only one every few generations rises to paragon. A paragon is a dwarf whose accomplishments change Orzammar so much that the assembly recognizes they've been born blessed. They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever bearing their name. Hmm. Uh, and that's what Branka was? Branka is a paragon, now and into death. She was born a smith, but her inventions caught the assembly's eye. Before she had seen 20 years, she created a smokeless coal. It could burn in a cave without vents and no one would choke from it. It earned her paragon status. Mm. Where is she now? She went into the deep roads two years ago, seeking out secrets of the ancient smiths. She never returned. How did the caste system come to be? According to our legends, seven brothers founded our empire. The youngest, Gloadric, was the wisest and was chosen king. His children formed the noble caste. The eldest, Gyatshev, trained his sons to defend their king. They became the warrior caste. Shatyar founded the artisans. Ozatyar forged our first swords. It was Orzammar who dug the mines that became our city's foundations. The twins Koapar and Nacht both founded trading houses, but Nacht was wounded in battle. On his recovery, he swore to serve his brother's sons. Hmm. The castless descend from criminals and those repudiated by their own families, or who chose to go to the surface and live by human laws. They have no ancestors to guide them and no families to claim them. They should not have been born. Their parents defied their shame and brought cursed children into the world. It's better they die young. Harsh. Their births are not recorded in the memories. In Orzammar, they do not exist. Is there something more pleasant you wish to discuss? Hmm. Uh, let's go back to my first questions. Please, speak your mind. Let's build a chantry. That is an odd request. Especially for one so new to our city. Hmm. I'll come on behalf of... Brother Burkle, a cleric of Redcliffe. One of Orzammar's own has returned to spread the chant. I ask only because it's the right thing to do. Hmm. Let's do the middle one. I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Burkle hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn 2,000 years of tradition? You could become a paragon. How about that? Cunning. The Chantry's charities would greatly aid Osmar. Persuade. What harm would it do to let him preach or intimidate? 
Would you rather wait for a human army to convert you? Mm -hmm. uh, let's do persuade. He seems a charitable man. But that is a thin thread in which to tie Ozamar's traditions. Very well. He may hold a prayer meeting as he requested, if not build a new temple to his god. At least the words would come from one of our own. Now, is there anything more? Mm, tell me some more of the history. We were a great empire once, outnumbering even humans and elves. We traded with your Tevinter Imperium, and our land stretched as far in the deep roads as theirs did above. Cal Shirok was capital then, but we lost too many battles. We lost our golems. And we lost our territory. Now the Empire is simply ruined tunnels filled with darkspawn. Sounds like a pity. How did you lose your golems? The Paragon Keridan, a smith of unsurpassed genius, invented the golems. For years they were our weapon against the darkspawn. One golem is worth a dozen dwarves in battle. But Keridan's tig is far into the deep roads. When it fell, we lost his secret to creating golems. There are books about it along these walls, if you would read more. What's a, th a taig? They are to us what a colony is to surfacers. Oh, I see. Where is Cal Sharok? At the other side of the old empire. During the last blight, the kings of Orzammar knew they couldn't hold everything. They sealed the deep roads, abandoning everyone still trapped in far-flung settlements. It was the only way to survive. Cal Sharok is the only other city to outlast the blight. We only rediscovered them recently, and they still haven't forgiven us. Mm. Uh, enough history. Let's talk basic Ozamar again. Settle your mind if I can, <clears throat> Um. Let's go back to my first Please, questions. Speak your mind. Your presence here has been recorded in the memories. I wish I knew what significance it has. Well. Everything's going to rat shit if you don't do what I say, so that's the significance. You just have to basically let me dish out plot, and then you dance like puppets on strings towards the big final battle, and hoorah, we get an ending. What do you think? Is that good for you, little man? Is that good for you? Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, let's go to the back of the library here, so that when I load up again, I'm confused. I don't know where I am. Sound good to you? Let's do it. Bosh, saving game. And now, we exit. You're right, there is some serious shortness when you get down to dwarfness, but I mean, some of these guys are teeny weeny, like seriously bad. Aren't you a little tall for a dwarf guard? Let's uh, quit the game and go to the uh, main ID page, as one is wont to do. And say bye bye to the YouTubers. Bye, YouTubers. See you next video. I mean, highly unlikely, but if you do, great. See you later. Like, subscribe, etc. Follow me on Twitter, whatever. Bye.